Hey guys, what's up? Heather here, and I've got another tutorial for you that deals with streaming uh, to Twitch, and this involves pretty much just cam twist is uh, what this tutorial is about. You know when you go to people's streams and they have the really cool overlay graphics added to their stream, so they've got the graphics and the picture-in-picture -picture webcam and then obviously you've got your gameplay. Well, I'm going to show you how you can do that on a Mac with Cam Twist um, Studio. And, you know, the other, the other part that I showed you in the previous video was the really simple, straightforward way. Um, but here's how you do this. You pull up Studio and you can actually create buttons for different elements that you want um, to use. Now I've gone ahead and labeled mine. You create a new button and then label them. And as you can see, this is what my layout looks like. Now obviously, like if I had my capture card actually on and set up and my TV on, you would see the gameplay, but you're just gonna see what part I have sectioned off for my stream. And the cool thing I like about this is it's so simple. You just click the new button and go to the elements and you can basically choose what you want to put in. So obviously um, to do the actual overlay graphic you would, what is it titled again? Oh, image overlay. Yep. So just hit image overlay, add, and then you can pull up a, um, your image file and basically just drag it right in there. And then you can change the position, move it, uh, change the scale, uh, crop it, do a border color, but mine is literally just taking up the whole screen. So yeah, that's what it looks like. And then you honestly can play around with this and add whatever you want. It's got some pretty cool features to it. Um, I haven't really tried a whole lot of them, but you can do like a clock. Let's do the clock. Now it's going to show up behind um, my capture card just because the way that I have these in order it's basically like using Photoshop when you put different thing different layers in order you know you see which ones on top and anything that gets popped up in a layer beneath it you only can see part of it or none at all well that's what it looks like that's the that's the date not necessarily a clock but okay <laughs> I guess you can add the long rest of it with it. Cool. I guess I'm just gonna delete that and move it around or delete it. Anyway, pretty cool features. Now, um, obviously you can see I, you can double click on them. It says untitled when you create a new button, but you can change the name of it. Oh, look, and you can add a internet relay chat. Cool. I feel like I have to really like play around with more of the like random settings. So some of these you might never, never actually use because obviously I've only used like a couple of these settings um, just for what I want. And uh, this white box actually is where the webcam goes. Forgot to mention that. Um, that's just so I know where it's placed. Um, but honestly, I have things like when you open up all these software. Let's see what color. Sorry, changing colors real quick. Look, you can do scrolling text. How fabulous. You can move it and scale it. So many different cool features. I'm like learning myself as I'm showing you guys how to do these overlays. Anyway, like I said, the webcam goes there um, just so I know where it goes and that it's got a black border for where the um, desktop goes. And then there's my overlay graphic. As you can see, it's squared off, so again, you know where things go. The cool thing about this is you can actually control in um, Flash Media Encoder how you put things live on your stream. Like normally with the other setting, as soon as you put things on in the non-studio format, that is, um, it'll immediately show up when you hit cam twist. But with this one, you actually have to make things live and it will switch over to what's actually the red program. See, it just kind of like dissolves on 
and if you go back over here you will see it's up on the stream so if you wanted to take you know still stream but take uh, the camera off you can do things individually like um, there goes the capture card and then it will take it off as well on the stream and bring it back pretty cool but yeah, this is like if you've got to get up and you don't want your, your um, webcam on, you can just take it off. Or you can take all of it off. Pretty self-explanatory. I actually find um, the studio mode to be much easier to use. Um, just because it, it feels really familiar, like kind of like messing with Photoshop to me. Um, but yeah, and you can add several buttons as you can see. So you can have a whole bunch of stuff going. Um, here's just the normal cam twist, which it's kind of just meh. Studio is so much easier. Awesome. So yeah, that is how you do overlay graphics. And you can add as many different graphics as you want. I just made it all in one to make it easier for me. But if you have any other questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.